<clears throat> hey guys. Hey guys. Wait, did you start recording? Yeah, I started recording a podcast. We're recording. Oh. I'm keeping that in. Editor, keep that Uh-oh. in. No, 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 editor, keep that keep that out. I have your wife hostage, editor, editor please. Um edit out this sentence so that it sounds make it makes it sound like um Hi guys. Wait a minute. Are you the editor or or like do we have a hired one? I don't know. Our editor what? is No, you we, we, edit. Like... we edit. You know yeah, this. so do we hire an editor? Or, wait, so if I have the head if that's the editor's wife hostage, then whose wife do I have hostage? Yours or mine? Yours. What? what why would I have wait, my you own? You don't have a wife? Well, yeah, that's I what I was going to say. Yeah, you do. I don't have D- a wife. Dude, I'm your wife. I don't have a wife. Our anniversary's coming up, man. I don't have a I, wife. I... <laughs> I can't believe you forget about the sin. Okay, well, yeah, today's episode, what, what is it about, by the way? Let's keep talking before we introduce it to build suspense. Alright, so the other day, right, I was talking to my wife, right? You don't have and... a wife. So the other day, right, I was talking to my friend, and she told me about this, um, she told me about this, uh, she, she asked me, like, so what would you, would you rather give five hundred dollars to every person on earth or kill every person on earth for one quadrillion dollars and i just thought like you know i'd yeah, do it for a bazillion crazy. gajillion dollars what i would do it for free i would not do it i would Wait, do it easily so, no shut the fuck up i have a story so i was walking down the street and then suddenly I got jumped by a child wearing clown makeup and they said to me, Hey man, do you have any free coin? Free coin? And so I gave them two dollars and they were like, okay, but I'm still gonna follow you home. And so I was just walking home and they just followed me home. They went into my house and they just like kind of sat down on the couch and like looked at me. This child can't be older than 10. But then they were just like, okay, now get me some, some alcohol. And so I, I did because I'm a nice person. I gave them like the strongest whiskey I have. And so they, passed out and i'm just like i was like huh why huh so then i just like threw them onto the street you know i i also had a i also have a story actually one time i was actually out on the streets and um i remember this is one time i was um walking i i just came back from my circus side job by the way so I was wearing a clown suit and I was kind of, I needed to buy like, I need to buy some whiskey. So I was like, okay, I asked this random guy on the street, hey man, you got $2 on him, on you? And I was like, I really, I, I really needed it. Cause like, um, you know, the clowns, the, the circus clowns are going to fire me from my job if I don't give them any whiskey, oh, yeah. right? Uh, it's a stupid rule, but you know, companies be like that, eh? Uh, you yeah. know, so I, I, I was just walking around. And and I, he gave me some money, right? Uh, a two dollar coin. And this was actually nice, but I want some whiskey, so I followed him home. And okay. um, I sat down on his couch, and like I was like, "Hey, man, give me some whiskey." And he was like, "Sure thing, Buckaroo." He was a really nice guy. He um, yeah, he was really nice to me. I, yeah, he he was nice. But I when I woke up, I I somehow I passed out, right? And I woke up and. All of a sudden, bam, I was out in the streets again, like it was a dream. That's a cool, that's a cool story. Yeah, man. I, I can't, I don't even know if it actually happened, honestly. Because, um, when I woke up, it just felt like a dream. Maybe that guy wasn't even real. That's weird. Huh. Mm. Um, there's some news that's been going around lately that I don't read the news. I don't have a wife. You don't read the news? Let's introduce the topic. So today's topic is hypotheticals. Hypotheticals are interesting because, like, 
we get to like think about how we'd act in a certain situation even though the situation's not real and it would be like it gets you no more person about people and then i don't know man like, it's it's hypotheticals it's it's a, here's a hypothetical uh, like maybe hypotheticals are bad hypothetically because hypothetically if they only hypothetically um talk in a situation then you won't Shut hypothetically the fuck up. is that Keep a talking. hypothetical okay so you know okay here's another hypothetical by the way you're swimming right you're swimming with your beach friends whoever your beach friends are oh, you see a shark friends. outside shark yeah i love my, yeah you see a shark by the way and it's walking over towards you what do you do i i swim over to the shark punch it in the face as hard as i can and then like like over and over again my beach friends will be like whoa there that's awesome you're like fighting that shark i just like fight the shark and the shark would be like oh please stop beating me and then i'd keep beating it until it dies and then my friends will be like whoa you killed a shark fuck yeah you're oh, a badass and i'd be like i know right hell what the hell, dude? That's that's nasty, dude. The shark. Okay, the shark dies, and you hear the shark police coming at you. Um, you can hear like the wee woo wee woo from the shark police, right? What do you do? The shark police. I run. I run with my beach friends. They're now involved with the crime, and I run over to a warehouse, like an abandoned warehouse, where I then slit the yeah. throats of all my friends because they're witnesses. Then all right, all I right. bury their corpses. Uh, I I hide a bag of rice above their corpses so that it, they, when the people dig down, they find rice, and won't find the corpse. Mm, that is a good idea, actually. I remember one time I was I was trying to hide my corpse, and I remember like. I put some truffles right above my corpse so that if, like, a dog smelt it, the police officer would just think, oh, the dog was just smelling some truffles. Okay, then, you know? Um, or if somebody smelled something, they, they would be like, oh, my God, truffles. I could sell this for so much money, you know? Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's what the thing. What sells for it's more money, price. truffles or human? I don't know. I mean, usually when I bury my corpses, it's usually just the skin and bones left. Because I usually sell all the really or um really useful um body you don't parts have like. Money. Well, yeah, because I used it all trying to bury the corpse. But you know, when what I did kind have of money, intense corpse burying. Are you like hiring like a digger to dig corpse? No, 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 dude. Corpse I it? I had to buy the truffles from somewhere. Truffles are expensive, bro. Hey. Yeah, what's a so I have a hypothetical for you. Let's say you're up on a stage, right? You're on a yeah. stage in front of an audience and you're you're performing something, but then you accidentally fart into the microphone. What do you do? Why would I fart into the microphone? You just do, okay? Okay, but why do I choose to do that? Like It's hmm? not about why, it's you've done that. Okay, so is the microphone in my butt? What? Why do I fart inside the microphone, man? Tell me. So what do you do? Well, I don't fart into the microphone because the microphone is nowhere near my That's ass. That's not part so of I the just... hypothetical. The hypothetical is that you no, farted no... into a microphone. No, the, you don't get hypothetical, that's man. Like, Why that's would they like fart you, in a that's, that's like you saying you're in a beach with your beach friends and you see a shark, and then I'm just like, there's no shark. Well, no, the thing is, right, it's really normal for there to be a shark at the beach, okay? That's the I've thing. never and seen a shark at the beach. No, because sharks live in the ocean, okay? So, like, sharks sometimes can become at the beach. And so, I've you know, never seen a shark at the beach. Well, yeah, but like you know, you can. Never it's, seen it's... a shark at the. I th actually, I've seen a dolphin at the beach. That was actually pretty cool. But uh, I've never seen a shark mm -hmm. at the beach. Okay, here's a hypothetical. You see a dolphin at the beach. What do you do? I'm like, oh my god, guys, look, it's a dolphin. 
Uh, it would be like, eh, 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 or whatever sound, fucked up sound dolphins make. And then That's not what dolphins make. They'd be sound. like, uh, 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 or whatever fucked up sound they make. And then they'd the be dolphins like, are your beach friends. My beach friends are dead. I but killed them and buried you... them. And well, escaped the yeah, shark but... police. In this hypothetical, they're still alive, and also the shark police aren't chasing you. Okay, then. So I tell my beach friends, like, look over there, it's a dolphin. And then I find a shark and, like, punch it until it dies. I never said, I never said there was a shark. Yeah, in this hypothetical sorry, what I would do is I would find a shark. Okay, but there isn't a shark. I'd find, a, I'd find one. Well, okay, you find one, but there isn't a shark anywhere near. I punch it. There isn't a shark. I find the shark and punch it. You try to look for the shark, but you can't find a shark. Your beach friends look at you ominously because you're trying what to find a shark. What are you, a, a dungeon master? This is a hypothetical, not a D&D &D game. Well, yeah, hypothetically, this is happening right now. Hypothetically, okay? I'm your DM in D&D, &D, and I okay. say you take I roll, infinity damage. I roll for persuasion on the shark. I roll for hit on the shark. Um, you got a nat one. Um, okay, so the shark, the shark, like, grunts at your hit, but is overwhelmed and walks away. Now what do you do? You, you and your beach friends are with a dolphin, by the way. I killed the, the shark. And you, you, you had to go up to the, you want to engage in combat with the shark again? Yeah. Okay, you walk up to the shark, okay. what do you do? It's your uh, turn. I roll for hit on unarmed strike with the shark. Okay, you um, you don't really have a very high strength, so it's just a d20. No, wait, hold on, I have dice. Let me get. Oh, okay. No, I I'm the dungeon. Okay. Okay, I'm back with uh, the dice. Um, okay. Let me let me roll this. Okay, I I I roll for unarmed strike on the shark. Okay. Um, what do you get? 19. Oh, you do a really good blow on the shark, and you're like, and he's like, what? He's like, he like scrunches up, and like, yeah. he slowly curls up. Your friends look at you mortified, but they refuse to fight alongside you because they How aren't much into... Did, is, is, how's the shark looking? He's looking pretty beat up. He has around, from from estimates, you can say he has, he's around like, maybe three quarters dead. Okay. So now it's the shark's turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, shark turn. The shark lunges at you with a bite, with a cold bite. His stare into your eyes is menacing, filled with bloodlust. Let me, let me roll a dice. Um, okay, he gets a, he gets a, he gets a 16 on hit, and hit. he deals, oh yeah, he like unarmed strikes you again. Because, you know, you're at the beach, you don't have any weapons with you. Your party does just left their weapons at the town, so... Okay. Let me roll for unarmed strike on the shark again. Okay, what do you get? Seven. Seven. Okay, so you manage to hit... You, you punch the shark into oblivion. His face disintegrates into some sort of triangular prism and he dies. Um, you and your breach friends add um, 10 wow. HP and around... Uh, Five gold to you guys inventory by the way i mean 10 xp and five gold okay and then okay, i point so what out do you the do? dolphins and i'm like hey guys look it's a dolphin your party members um, look at you like wearingly with the dolphin first you have killed a shark now you are staring at a dolphin what do you do against the dolphin i find a goblin and i'm like hey goblin how are you going Okay, wait, let me just roll for encounter. Okay, um, you find a goblin, but he is- he is- he is passive towards you right now. Okay, uh... I greet the goblin. I'm like, hey! The goblin? Oh, the goblin's like, hey, hey, what's up, man? Um, so, um, yeah, I've been looking for this guy who's, like, beating up a shark. Have you seen him? I... I roll for deception, and I'm like, I've never seen him. What do you get on deception? 18. 
the guy's like, oh man, shucks, that's sad. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna give him some gold because that shark was actually part of a bounty that he owed. But all right, uh, tell me if you ever find that guy though. Actually, I think I saw someone. I can go give, I can go give him the gold if you give me the gold. Can I roll for persuasion on this? Yeah, sure, sure. Sixteen. The goblin looks at you curtly, but he's like, um, I don't know, actually. This is this gold was given to me by the treasurer of the town back at base. Um, I don't, we, we, we're really against sharks here. I don't know if we should really give it to you. You could be as one of the skinwalker sharks, you know? We don't really want to do that. I mean, I don't know, though. Unless you can somehow prove to me that you're not a skinwalker shark, then maybe I'll give it to you. Uh, all right, then. You can move on. But as he turns around, I roll for sleight of hand to steal the money. Okay. Eight. Um. Oh, he he um. <laughs> okay, wait. Let me. Okay, yeah. Your sleight of hand check fails, and he looks at you with an awful disgust. He's like, "No way! You're not one of the Skinwalker sharks, are you?" Skinwalker what shark. You... What's that? Basically, they take hum they take us humans we they take us humanoid skins and then like they wrap them around themselves and walk in it so that they can um they can live amongst us but actually they hunt us and eat us like haven't you heard you know the association is currently against these skinwalker sharks. Okay. All right. Then the goblin uh, walk. Can I roll for hit on unarmed strike on the DM? Okay, so I look at you curtly with this that strange one. face. Oh, okay. You try to <laughs> you try to you try to punch me, the decrepit Dinklecaster, but then you but then you accidentally hit your mic and you now your mic is oh. broken. You cannot talk for the rest of I don't know how long until you fix your mic. So you um so you go so what do you do now? There you can go to the town and sit and go with your friends or like you can take a long rest hold on let me just fix my mic hello hello does this sound better oh yeah your mic your mic's working okay good you, you did you get a good roll on your wisdom check to fix your mic wisdom check um 14. oh cool yeah you fix your mic Nice. Uh, yeah, so there what do you do now? should be more... Well, uh, whatever. Anyway, let me give you a hypothetical now. So let's say you're on stage, you're performing, right? Yeah. And then you accidentally fart into the microphone. What do you do? I roll for performance. Okay, wait, let me roll. You get a 13. Um, oh, okay. Um, what happens? So, you fart into the microphone, and then you attempt to fart again. It doesn't sound that musical, but at least it makes it seem like the fart was intentional. Oh. I'll, yeah, I'll roll for persuasion to make it look like it was like all a gag, you know, to the crowd. Does that really warrant a roll? Um, it's like persuasion. Oh no, deception. Sorry, deception, not persuasion. Oh, okay. I'll I'll accept that. Nineteen. The crowd is oh. thoroughly convinced, and they start cheering. Great. Um. By the way, why am I on stage? You're performing a song. You're the bassist. I'm the. Except I'm, you're oh, the bassist okay. slash singer. Oh. One of those okay, bands. Can, um, well, can I start singing, I guess? like. Yeah. Let me roll for performance for you. All Three. Right. You're <laughs> horrendously out of key, and you fumble the bass. All, the, oh. the audience boos, and one of them even throws a tomato. Okay, I fart into the microphone again. Okay, you fired into the microphone again. The audience, though, just can't accept your bad playing before. One of them throws a tomato, another tomato at you, and they're like, 
Like, make a burger out of this. I I yell at him, shut up, and I keep on farting into my microphone until I eventually Soon you're not shit even my pants. You're not even singing, you're farting. Let me roll to see whether you shit your pants. <laughs> 16. You oh can feel God. you can feel the shit inside you, but you don't shit your pants. <laughs> I clench harder. Yes. Do I shit my pants? No. <laughs> okay then. So So then can I start doing a bass solo? A um, bass. Fuck. Bass. Yeah. Let me roll for performance for you. You get an 18. Oh. You do like a really good solo. Like it's not like the best solo they've ever heard, but like it's a really good bass solo. The audience Damn. cheers. <laughs> this is a really deceptive audience. Can I, um, fire into the microphone again? Okay, let me roll to see whether you shit your pants. You get an <laughs> 11. One of the farts sounds like a little bit untrustworthy, but you're not sure. <laughs> is there, like, a smell in the room? Like, Of course there's a company? smell. You've just ripped so many farts. How many? Like, more than a few. Okay. And then um, soon your performance is over. The crowd cheers and claps. You take a bow and then you head off stage. So that was the last song in your set for the light night. Wait. They, they as you, as you was... exit the venue, a fan comes up to you and they're like, Oh my god, how do you fire on command? I want to learn that. That sounded awesome. What do you say? Okay, so I just don't say anything and proceed to just take a shit, like, like, just force out a shit, Let like, on the floor. Let me roll for shitting for you. That's a, yeah, that's a roll. You get 15. Okay. <laughs> you, do you take your pants off? E e yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You start squeezing and eventually a shit comes out. It's pretty big shit, it's pretty stinky. Damn. So, like, does the fan say anything? No. <laughs> like, like, does does the fan do anything? No. <laughs> the just, fan just stands there. He just stand there. <laughs> Soon you realize that none of this was real and it was all just a hypothetical. You wake up. I was asleep. You're on the floor. A shark is next to you. It hasn't woken up yet. What do you do? Hey, um, I go to the shark police. You go to the shark police. Uh, the shark police chief says, Hello, what's the emergency? I said, there's a shark. They're like, yeah, and? We're the shark police. So what do you want us to do? I said there's a shark on the floor. Are they injured? We could send the shark ambulance. The shambulance? Yeah, sure. All right, then. The shark ambulance turns up soon. It's pronounced Sharks ambulance. rush out. And in full medical gear, and dre like put the passed out shark on a stretcher and put them into the ambulance. You trust that he'll be safe. Ah, cool. Wait, am I in a beach? Yes. So I have beach friends with me, right? Because I'm on a beach, right? Yes. So can I say hi to the beach friends? What do they no. say? Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's a hypothetical. Oh, that's that was a good hypothetical. I'd I'd probably run into that situation once or twice in my life. All right, I got a new hypothetical for you, man. So, you are a circus clown who works at a local Dinkle Rafter Circus, okay? And you wake up lying on the pavement in the street. What do you do? I stand up and then I. 
I would like look around me. Let me roll for perception. <laughs> okay, tell me what you get. Tw- not twenty. Not twenty. Oh wow! Okay, you can see, you can see that there's several cars passing by you in the midnight. It is it is quietly weeping down in rain, um, subtly, throughout the um pavement that you that you slept on. It is quite eerie out here with nobody there being outside outside except you. Even the people's on the car is not paying you any attention. You are pa- it, it's a raving highway as. As the people seem to be coming back from their daily shift at work, you sort of remember what you were doing. You also had your shift at the clown circus, where you did your clowning activities. But your friends got told you to get some alcohol for them, and now you're out here on the streets getting some alcohol. You don't know why you woke up, but the pavement feels oddly warm, resonating your body heat from it. I get up and I decide to go home. Once I enter the house, I sit down and I put on the TV. I flick to the channel about sharks. You go to the shark channel. There seems to be there seems to be an adventure on the cha- um it seems to be um there seems to be an adventure on the channel who is on the beach with his beach friends and he's just killed a shark. Um, what do you want him to do next? So, I want the man in the TV to, like, stand up and, like, get everyone else on the beach to cheer for him for killing a shark. You stand up and try to make a commotion for killing the shark. Roll for, hmm, performance, I guess? Okay. Ten. You get a 10. Some people start clapping at you and noticing you, but most people barely give, but like a lot of people actually don't really care um, that you've killed a shark. Uh, I kill another. You're about, you're, you, you walk menacingly towards the, towards the sandy waters. But your beach friend comes up to you. He's like, he's like, hey man, I maybe we should go home. You've been killing too many sharks recently. I say, hey, oh hello, fellow clown beach friend. Uh, maybe before we we go home, could you go give me a whiskey? Oh yeah, sure. He says as he as he goes and walks onto the pavement of the beach that you are on. Um. He passes out. <laughs> okay. What do you do you now? You know... Do you want to just sit in silence for the next few seconds? Yeah, sure. Okay. This video... This podcast... This... This is, so, life insurance, something pretty cool, oh. right? Yeah, I really want my life insurance in life. If I ever die, I would want to ensure that my life, that my wife is um, cared for and something, I don't know. I just, if I ever die, I don't want bad things to happen, um, I guess. I don't really know, yeah. I want to ensure that I live. Which is why Zingle Dingle's Life Insurance, our sponsor, have probably got you covered. So, this uh, company is, uh, um, uh, uh you know, so actually, they, do you know what um, they do? So, like, they're like, um, they're like a life insurance company, right? And, um, they, yeah. so they, they probably do some life insurance, you know, like, um. Right. Okay, so, uh, they, uh, they're, uh, they, Zingle Dingle's life insurance, um. Yeah, they, they ensure that you have life, I think, um, something like that, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Something, uh, I'm not sure what they do. They, um, they ensure, they definitely do ensure, I would recommend I that, think, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh. 
They, uh... Well, anyway, uh, you can find... If you want to get a discount on Zingle Dingle's life insurance, uh, you can go to the link zingledingleslifeinsurance.com slash decrepit for 50% off. That is Z-I-N-G-L-E-D-I-N-G-L-E-S l-i-f-e-i-n-s-u-r-a-n-c-e dot com slash decrepit make sure you buy this once in lifetime life insurance so that you can always like you can uh, um you, you can you can um remember so to can... use code remember to use code z z i n i g e e r slash dinklecasters.com for your what? for your free for your uh, free life they, insurance your free um not free 50 percent uh back to the something. video yeah okay uh that's a nice bit of silence we just had so uh i gotta give you a hypothetical now Let's right. say hypothetical me up here. Yeah. Okay. Let's say your friend has just asked you to go get whiskey for him. What do you do? You're a clown, so, by the way. Okay. Um, why am I a clown? What do you do? Why why am I a clown though? Like Because what do I... that's how you get money. You went to clown school because you're just a clown. Can I quit my job? Well, your friends just asked you a whiskey. Huh. Ooh, yeah, nice. so I'll quit my job. You phone your boss. Wait, no, no. You, you need to... Let's, let's move away from the D&D &D format for this section. We were doing a D&D &D format? I thought this was just how people did hypotheticals. No. Oh, right, okay, so, actual hypothetical this time, for real. So, um, let's say, for example, you were in, like, a situation where you were drowning. Um, what is the- okay, no, actually, better idea. The world is ending in 15 minutes, what is the last thing you do? Huh. So let's say... It's a rainy day, but you have no umbrella. Do you walk or run to shelter? Well, scientifically, I've heard that running actually um, reduces the amount of water that you get on yourself. You know what running you, also when... reduces? The amount of time you have to spend in the pouring rain. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really walk home in the rain. Um, speaking of rain, another hypothetical. You're out in the rain, right? You don't have an umbrella, but it starts raining acid. What is the first thing you do? I run to shelter. Right, yeah, there is shelter. That, that is probably a good idea. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest, if it was acid rain, first off, I'd put out, pull out my umbrella, but then I'd probably run to acid shelter. Acid rain? Does it get you yeah. tripping? Well, not like that, but like, you know, it's, it's kind of like alcohol, so it kind of gets you drunk. <laughs> wow. That's not no, what like, acid is. I mean, yeah, but like, it, it's... Can it's I dip my balls in it? Well, you well if you take out your pants, your 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 ball your 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 genitals are just gonna disintegrate inside okay, of your. Okay, I take my pants off and lie down so that my balls face upwards. So like, do you get erect as well? So like, you can get no. maximum. Okay, like if you really wanted to, you could just like really quickly like, I don't know, think of something and get erect if it's that easy. I don't know if you have erectile no. dysfunction because I don't. Have erectile dysfunction, by the way. Okay, um, so let's say you cut your penis off. What do you do? Well, obviously, first I would start screaming, right? As as any man would start screaming, um, because it's not very um, you know, it's it doesn't feel very. Cut it off with a rusty sex. blade. Well, first I'd get my tinnitus vaccine. Tinnitus, um, not tinnitus. Tinnit, tinnit. Tinnitus is like a hearing thing. Oh, really? Damn, because my doctor said I had tinnitus, tinnitus, and then like, tinnitus. um, 
tinnitus. tinnitus. And then my my doctor said I had tinnitus. And so well, you I, um, always use the American pronunciations for these things. Well, no, that's you, man. I'm I'm you're the American one here. I'm from New Zealand. You are, so am I. Well, yeah, but you're American. You just live in New Zealand. No, you you know, uh Z. Color is spelt with O U. Um it's mum. Uh Let's say hypothetically you visit America and All right. you uh, are having dinner and then a waiter comes up to you and like tells you your bill and then they take your credit card and charge you more than what the th things in the menu said they were because you need to tip. Oh, uh, I definitely hate, I hate waiters who do that. Um, usually, if I'm in America, I'll pull out my gun and like start shooting, tooting at them, giving a taste of freedom. But you know, um, someone calls the police, and now the police are here. What do you do? Well, I'll shoot the police. Someone calls the police, police. What do you do? I'll, I'll shoot the police, police. Someone calls the anti-gun society. What do you do? Well, I shoot the anti-gun society. They are not armed. Okay. Someone calls the army. What do you do? Well, I shoot the army. Someone calls God. What do you do? I shoot God. God is now dead. Okay. The universe so, collapses. You die. I shoot the universe. Okay, the universe dies. You live. Cool. So, do I have? Can I? Do I have to pay for my order still, or like? No. Oh, why not? Why well, actually? Do you want to pay for your order? I mean, I I want to pay the full order. Just don't want to give a tip, you know. Okay. You do that. Cool. So wait, how do I do that? Where's the waitress? The waiter, I mean. Dead. Why? Why are they dead? I never shot the waiter. Well, the universe is, uh, dead. Oh, so then how am I alive? Because you shot the universe. Oh, The universe okay. didn't shoot you, so you're fine. Oh, okay. that makes sense. But then now what do I shoot? Like, is there anything else? No. Oh, cool. So, like, do I get to eat my meal that I paid for, or, like... No. No? Oh. Wait, why not? Because the universe has died. Well, then can I just shoot the universe again to make it alive again? You don't have a gun. Where did my gun go? It was in the universe. What happened to the universe? You killed it. How would I kill it if I don't have a gun? You had a gun. Okay. But then how did I- but I don't, so how did I kill the universe if I don't have a gun right now? You killed it in the past tense. But there is no past tense, because the universe is dead. And so, therefore, there is no time either. You die. Can I shoot myself so I don't die? Okay, you're alive. Cool. So, can I eat the food now? No. The Why food not? is dead. Why is it dead? Because the universe is dead. Why is the universe dead? Because you shot it. Why did I shoot the universe? I don't know. It's a hypothetical. Oh. You decided to do that. Okay, well then, hypothetically, the universe is alive again because I shot it again, and therefore it's alive. Um, but if you shoot something twice, it doesn't become alive. It just dies more. Well, it's the universe. You don't question the universe. Yes, I do. Well, no, you can't. The universe is the universe. It just works that way. Yeah, I agree with you. It doesn't stop me from questioning some things, like, why is my friend who I do podcasts with so stupid? I'm I'm not stupid. If you have a friend who's stupid and you do podcasts with them, you should probably just shoot him. Like, they die. Honestly. What okay, do I do next? So, what do I do? Well, you don't- you, you record the podcast.
Okay, I've recorded the podcast. Well, like, I'm dead, so I can't really say anything, but, like, yeah, you did it. Okay. And as always, we're decrepit, and we'll dinkle cast you later. Bye.